everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to restrain this doll uh, that I made. I hope you all saw that doll, that series of uh, videos, but you see the string I used is like too weak. Her head's all wobbly. So I decided I was going to buy a little bit uh, stronger elastic string and restrain her uh, because really the way it is now, she just, you know, flops around. So it's going to be kind of a pain to do it, but let's do it. So this is where everything kind of comes together up in the head with that uh, ring I have there. So I'm just going to cut that and cut off all the different pieces of the elastic through the arms and the legs. And and then we'll just, uh, we'll try to restring it with this new string. Um, I, I did this series on making a ball jointed doll using the Yoshido method, which is, uh, was all written in Japanese. And you can go back and look on my channel. There's I don't know how many different videos I made, a whole bunch of them, but it was a pretty interesting process. So, so we got her all unstrung now, and uh, I don't know if I'm, you know, stringing this exactly the way everybody always does it, but basically you want to have, you know, your lengths of, uh, of elastic so that they're not the full length of the arms or the legs because you want there to be some tension. So I kind of measure it maybe to the half, like halfway point of each arm all the way across. And then uh, the the elastic is going to go up into the body from the legs, but we can pull it up through the head. So basically you want to have enough to go down through the leg and then have enough to tie. And sometimes you have to have a little extra just because, you know, when you're doing this, you have to be able to tie the knots and then have the tension on it and sometimes you can't do that and thread it through at the same time so anyway i made a few mistakes with that in terms of not having enough length but uh, we do have like the main um loop of the elastic goes down through the head through the neck and into the body and then the elastic from the legs will a loop around that and then you can pull it up so the first thing uh, I'm going to have to do is go back to all the openings um, using my X-Acto knife and make those a little bit wider because this uh, elastic thread I bought is a little bit wider. Now the bad thing about that is that I liked, I had uh, used this product called Gofun, which is a Japanese product uh, to coat the doll that gives it this really hard and um, smooth finish and I used that on the inside of the the slit that the elastic goes through to provide some strength and also it's smoother than the air dry clay that is inside the doll so I kind of hate that I had to get rid of that but I mean this doll was really a project anyway it wasn't oh this is the stringing tool I bought it has a little hook on the end I got it on Amazon in case you want one uh, and it's really helpful so uh yeah I was just saying I kind of hated I had to carve out these holes but you know this was a project doll it wasn't a doll that I was trying to sell or anything like that so it's okay it's gonna be okay uh, and probably if I ever did this again I would just have a whole lot more knowledge so I would know better what to do but pretty much all of the openings I had to go back with the exacto and open those up and make those a little bit wider so that this new string will go through it and that's simple to do but unfortunately it does get rid of the go fund that was coating the inside of those sluts and that probably takes away some of the strength of the joint but it's okay it'll be okay all right so we're going to be uh stringing the legs first and um so you're going to get a go down you have to string this through from the top down because you have to use it bent through there's just no way to, to string it up through it so if you uh, double it over and then you stick it down in the hole then you can use the tool to pull it through and this is where if you don't have enough thread you may have to have a longer piece because you got to pull it through long enough to be able to string it down through the bottom part of the leg without pulling the ends through the top part. So 
that part you have to just maybe adjust a little bit and then you after you tie the knots you can just cut off any excess the other thing is this thicker uh, elastic was so hard to tie into a knot it just did not want to tie you have to really work with it it just kept wanting to slip out because it was so thick so anyway I'm pulling down now a loop down through the neck this is the part that will go up through the head and we'll string we'll tie up one leg uh, elastic on first stick it back up in the body pull it down the other side through the hip joint and tie the other leg so I'm just using a square knot but what I found is you can't really pull both strings at one time you have to pull one at a time to get it tight if you try to pull both it just pulls it apart alright so anyway there's the first leg elastic and now we can pull that center piece through the other leg and tie the other leg elastic through it and once we have that done then we can start pulling it through the rest of the leg so just pull it really really tight I think probably if I was gonna if this was like a doll I was wanting to keep or to you know mess with much I'd probably put some glue on that joint that uh, knot <laughs> I was afraid to cut the ends off too too short because I was afraid it would come unraveled and it may still I don't know because there's a lot of tension on it anyway uh, pulling the uh, elastic down from the hip down to the knee joint and then from the knee joint we'll pull it through the bottom calf leg calf part of the leg and then once we get there now you want to push that uh, knot up into the body you want that to be at the top of the loop because it, it's not going to go through the hole that goes down through the, the top part of the leg. Alright, so putting it down through the calf portion and then use the tool to pull the elastic through. The last time I did this, if you watched that video, I had to use just like really th thin wire that I doubled over and used to pull the, like thread the, ne the uh, elastic through because <laughs> I didn't have this tool. So I, right after that, I went on Amazon and found this tool and bought it and it's really helpful it's uh, it's nice so uh, now this is good it's nice and strong I'm like I'm having trouble holding it at the end to put the foot on now the foot has a little S hook that you can't see because I did I wasn't looking and I didn't hold it but hold the camera to see <laughs> but anyway I just hooked that S hook onto the bottom loop of the elastic and that pulls it up into the the calf part of the leg so we're going to do the same thing on this side. We'll just thread it through and then we'll pull that through. And you can see a little bit better here where I'm hooking the foot on. I actually decided to look at the monitor. <laughs> Sometimes I get too into this and I'm, I don't look at the monitor and my hands are off camera. Sorry about that. Oh well. All right, so now we have the legs and we can push the elastic up into the body. And like I said, I didn't trim those ends, but you can just jam them up into the torso. So now we're going to do the arms. And the arms don't have to hook to that center uh, loop that goes up through the head. It, they just go straight from one arm through the body to the other arm. So uh, I don't know why I was thinking I could thread this up through there because of that's not going to work. You always have to go from the top down. Lara, you know this. <laughs> so, yeah, going through the shoulder joint, and uh, I had to open that up some more with the X-Acto to get the thread to go through it. And then uh, we can thread the thread through. Now, this was a little tricky because there's a bend, and there's kind of a... I guess a sh like a shelf of clay in there that that the uh, thread was getting stuck on. So I just had to work with it a little bit, but I finally, finally managed to get it stuck through there. <laughs> and then uh, be able to grab it with the hook. Helps to have a good light, and you can look down in there and see what's going on. Fortunately, I have some good lights. 
All right, so now you want to pull one of these sides of the elastic longer than the other because that's going to be the loop that goes through the other arm. And then you'll just use the shorter side to tie off the rest of the loop after you get it threaded. But you're going to have to pull one side a little bit longer than the other one to have a long enough loop. And if you don't, you may have to... Uh, which I had to do, cut a longer piece of elastic. <laughs> Sometimes you do this and you don't really realize the, the science, the, the geometry or the physics or whatever. But yeah, so you just pull the longer side through, a long enough side that you can make a loop and still keep the loop on the other side because you have to get this tied before you can put the hands on. You have to have the tension to be able to put the hands on. So we're going to make a loop out of the longer side. And uh, I just realized I had to cut this one, this shoulder open too, which I had not done yet. And then making sure I have enough on the long side to pull through, but not pull, pull it completely through the other arm and lose it. All right, so we got enough now. We're going to stick it through and use a tool to pull it out through the elbow. Again, there was kind of a shelf of clay up at that joint that protruded, so that was a little bit hard to get it out. But eventually I did. I wondered if you guys, any of you guys tried to make a doll like this when we did that project. I'd love to hear if you did and how it turned out. Well, it's quite a lengthy process. All right, so we did get it through the elbow. So now we have a loop there. And uh, we just tied a knot. So we've got both arms attached down to the elbow and we want to rotate that loop of elastic so that the knot is inside the body in the center otherwise it's not going to go through the shoulder hole so just rotate the loop of the pla of the uh, elastic until you can get it back into the body now once you have that loop on one side it doesn't really matter which arm you do first but whichever arm you don't do you got to think about the tension you're going to be putting on the other arm and put something through there. So I'm using this hemostat through the loop to keep from pulling the elastic through while I'm attaching the hand to the other arm. So now we can thread the elastic through the lower arm and attach the hand. Now the hand is like the foot. It has the metal S hook and the metal S hook will just hook onto that loop of elastic that comes out through the wrist there. And you want to have good tension. You want to, it should be fairly hard to pull it through and hold it. So we got one hand on, and you want to make sure you get the right hand on the right side. I did that one time, I had the wrong hands. I had them opposite. The thumbs go up. As long as the thumbs can go up, you look good. All right, now we're going to pull that through on the other arm, put our hand on, and then we'll be ready to attach the head. So sometimes I would hold that thread with the hemostat, but I ended up just holding it with my hand I was able to do it all right we got the hands we got the legs now we want to jam those uh, stray pieces up into the body so they're not showing <laughs> and then uh, we want to pull the legs up so there's really good tension on that and then we'll thread it up through the head and we'll use that metal ring again to tie it off. 
Some dolls will use like a larger S hook inside the head, which is fine because it makes it a whole lot easier to change things if you need to or to restring it. But I don't have one of those. All I have are those smaller ones and they're not big enough to, to work. So we're going to use, it's really like a key ring. It's a, you know, like you would use on a key, key fob. All right, so we're going to tie another square knot here. And what you want to do is pull the elastic really tight and then pull your knot down to where it will hold. And you just want to check your, your legs, you know, make sure you can bend them and everything. You don't want it to be so tight you can't bend them, but you want it to be so tight that it shape, keeps the legs in shape. All right, and I did tie about three or four times, I think, just to make sure. I did leave a little extra elastic in there because I was afraid to cut it too short. And now we can put the, the head on and our doll is finished. Now I still want to do a wig for her and make a little outfit just to finish it up and, you know, make it nice and everything. I mean, this it was not, like, not the most beautiful doll ever, but <laughs> I was pretty proud that I finished this project anyway. So I learned a lot, and I hope you guys did too. So there she is. Her head's staying up now on her neck, and that's what we needed. And the joints moving a little bit stiffer so that they stay in shape. So I think it, you know, first first time doing a ball jointed doll. Pretty happy with it. All right, guys, that's really it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed uh, making the doll and learning a lot out of it. And uh, maybe next time we'll make a wig or do something, get this doll looking a little bit better and finish her up completely. Thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe. Give it a like. Bye.